Hi, everybody. Hopefully, everything is good. Excuse me while I open up Twitch on my phone because I have to uh, make sure this is working. Hey, Andrew, what's up? Awesome, perfect. Uh, so let me get this started. Um, how do I use my crown? Sorry, my mom came to give me chicken nuggets. Uh, so let's get started with this just to introduce you to what we're gonna be playing for the next uh, while.
God damn it, Andros! I'm gonna keep it in that whole time. I'm sorry, this movie is also very long, but it's very important to what we're doing. Final Fantasy XIV Realm Reborn. This is the first expansion in Final Fantasy XIV, and yeah, there's a lot we gotta get into. Um, so, everything that happened in that first epic cutscene is basically, um, is basically what the game was before this. Uh, it is completely canon to the story. So that's why I showed it off. Yeah, seeing Yoshi P's name is, uh, in real time is, uh, weird. Um, so yeah, if you're excited for Final Fantasy 16, which is coming out next year, uh, a lot of the people who worked on that, uh, who are working on that came from this. And this game is fucking awesome. This is probably one of my top video games of all time. I'm only on the third expansion. Um, so let's get started. Uh, as you see, I'm connecting to a data center. It's probably yelling at me because I've been logged on for so long and the movie's been defeated. So you're wondering who we're going to play as. So, I like making characters. This is my main, this is my main warrior of light. This is Oberon 1. I've been playing as him for a long time. Um, we are, he is the farthest character I've gotten. Uh, as you see, I have other characters. This is Lily Moo. She's an alt of mine. Uh, this is Kaho. Uh, this is Soyo. She is uh, my pansexual disaster lizard. Uh, this is Painted. And this is Are, who is uh, the lesbian disaster pan lizard's twin brother. But we're not playing as that. We are playing as Olympi Bellamere. Uh, Olympi is the race called a uh, Elizin, which are elves. Just to quickly go over some of the races that you'll run into in the game. Over on Len is what's called a Hrokthar. They are currently a male only race. They are getting a female version, all the races besides Hrokthar have male and female versions of them. He is getting, they are getting one next expansion. Uh, Lilimu Limu is what is called a Lalafell. They are the adorable little potato people. 
Uh, hi, Getter. I'm explaining races. Um, also, Getter, Andrew called uh, Bahamut Red Eyes Black Dragon. Uh, this is Lily Moo. She is a um, Lollafell. They are the potato people. They'll be important. Kahu is the Mikote. These are all the horny cat girls that you see. We will see a lot of people dressed as horny cat girls. Uh, this is Soyo. Both she and Eridae are what are called Aura. They are specifically Zayla Aura. This will be important in a couple of months when we get to that expansion. Uh, this is Painted. She is what's called a Roganin. She is a specifically a Hellsguard Roganin. Uh, Roganins are defined by being big, broad, and their women are super hot. Uh, the way that you can tell the difference between a sea wolf and a Hellsguard Roganin is their name. If the Hellsguard Roganin has a kind of no if a if a Roganin has a more technically in story, if a Roganin has a more Nordic kind of name, that's a sea wolf. If a uh, Roganin has a adjective noun name, that's a Hellsguard. Uh, and then again, he is a male Zal uh, Zila. There are also two other races that we haven't, uh, I do not have. Those being the Hira, which are humans, and the Viera, which are the rabbits. So let's get into Olympi. Olympi is a character I made a while ago. Uh, she is an Elizin. She is very pretty. Please look at my, please look at her. Um. Yeah, those are Viera. Those are male Viera. Uh, so Olympi is special in a sense that I made her for a specific reason. That being, that's her husband. Oberon and Olympi are married in my mind and nothing can change that. So uh, let's get on with it with uh, my Wildwood love, Elizabeth Olympi. As you're going to see, uh, a lot of people play this fucking game. Andrew, fuck off. Um, uh, Olympi is... I'm currently in the queue to get in. I think it's going to give me the first cutscene. If not, we're going to... When I eventually go into the inn, I will be able to watch the first cutscene with you because it's kind of important. Also, be my two favorite characters are in that cutscene. Um... Okay, cool, perfect. Uh, so let me preference this with, please do not get, this dub is terrible. Um, it was made on a shoestring budget. Uh, and these voices will not be sticking around after this expansion. Here. Hear, feel. doing here? Yeah, that's Mary McGlynn at the Talking Crystal. Yeah, that's Mary Elizabeth McGlynn at the Talking Rock, yes. Oi. Oh, yo, I hate when my edibles give out. <laughs> Y'all right, lass. Grizzled passenger. 
You were moaning in your sweet and slep uh, sweating buckets besides. Yeah, I know, a character that doesn't technically pop up until later on in this game was in my dreams. And I didn't expect him here because I have not done this as a Lancer before. That'll be the Aether, I reckon. Some are more prone to sickness than the others. Oh, hey, what's up, Pickle? Um, no need to fret, though. You'll soon get used to it. I'm gonna drink this alcohol. Chug, chug, chug. Oh, look, it's everyone's favorites, the Moogles! Toot, toot, on the flute. Feeling better, Koopo? Uh, meet the Moogles. They are one of the people in my, uh, in my, uh, call group's least favorite thing in this game. Uh, some of my people in, the my free company are in the chat. That would be, uh, if you haven't ever met them, Pickle and Getter. Uh, Getter plays a character named Einzval, who is the adopted mom to my other Warrior of Light, Oberon, and lovers to my other Warrior of Light, Soyo. Because, like I said, Soyo Mala is a pansexual disaster lizard. Ah, you can see us. I had a feeling you could, Koopo. We're Moogles, and we live in this wood. Also, hi! My two favorite characters are in this scene! Please guess who they are! Um... Normal folks can't see us or hear us, which makes you special, Koopo. And seeing how you're special, maybe you can tell us something. The wood's been restless of late. Lots of strange things happening. Have you a chance to witness anything suspicious, Goopo? I have no idea, talking furry butt animal. Anyway, he's gonna steal our booze. Um. But of course you hadn't. You've only just arrived. Well, there's nothing for it then. We'll just have to keep looking. Nice to meet you, Goopo. One of them has a sword, yes! I'm not telling you which one. Uh, I'm going to try to keep the this as spoiler-free as possible because, again, I'm in the third expansion and Getter and Pickle are at the end game, Or at least the last, the latest expansion, what's up to date with that. So if you're somebody who's played 14, don't spoil anything for the rest of anybody. Uh... I like swords. Welcome to Gordon Maria. Uh, Gardania is still a far ways off in case you're wondering. Seeing as you're awake, how about you keep me company till we get there? These youngins don't much care for conversation, see? Uh, Baird wants the name and Paddle lends me trade. Uh, as for your good self, judging by your usual garments, I would say you're one of the new adventurers. Am I warm? Nod. I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory, and now that's what I call living. Now that's what I call pod racing! Sneak those crystals off. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean, ain't no secret that adventuring's risky business, these days especially. Don't worry! I'm- I can hang out with white mages. Uh, what was it that first attracted you to it? To gain power, to win glory, to amass a fortune, dot 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 dot. Uh, Olympia would say for glory. Uh, but we'll get into her backstory later, uh, not in this expansion, but the next one because it's more key to that. Glory, eh? Well, you're willing to take them to tax on others folks' aid. An adventurer such as yourself can win fame, what coin can't buy. When you arrive in town, you'll want to report to the Adventurer's Guild. You can find out everything you need to know about the adventuring business in there. Wow! Just remember, though, there's more important things in fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. Halt, go no further. 
What's this then? Oh! Ooh! <laughs> I have to do it in the style of Cider Spider. Ooh! Uh. What's going on? A skirmish is broken up ahead with the Ixal. For your own safety, you must remain here until. Bloody hells, we shall hold them here. Try to break try to break clear. <laughs> what about me and my safety? Fuck my safety, I guess, guys. <laughs> anyway, the magical chickens have uh anyway, now that we're free. That was too bleeding close. Nice of the Ixal to send us a welcoming party, though, eh? Joking aside, this won't be the last time you meet those feathered fiends, so just you take care, alright? By the way, is this your first trip to Gridania? No. Though not, oh, oh, but I'll bet there'll be some changes since you last allowed, uh, uh since your last visit, it allowed a journey itinerant to teach you a few new things about your destination. Ahem. The city of Gorgonia lies slap bang in the middle of the Black Shroud, the biggest luscious forest in all of Eorzea. Though it ain't near as lush as it used to be, uh, saying that, not since the Calamity laid half of it to waste. The destruction prompted a herd of new nasties to move in, gave the Ixal unneeded encouragement. Furred man raids have become a daily occurrence. Ha, at long last. Behold, Gridania, the forest nation blessed by the elementals. The Black Shroud, the ancient forest, close to the heart of Eorzea. Beneath the boughs of its towering trees lies the woodland city-state of Gridania. Once a sanctuary from the world beyond the hedge, even the mighty elementals, eternal guardians of the forest, could not forestall the coming of the Seventh Umbral Era. However, the goddess Nofika was never one to forsake her children, and today she welcomes another brave soul. One who may yet play a telling role in the tale of this great realm. And this is where, ah, and this is where we part ways, lass. I'm off to the dark to deliver the me wares, then it's back to the high road for me. Anyway, take this. Here, I want you to have this by way of thanks of keeping me company. Bye, bye, creepy twins. Um. Hey, you never did tell me your name, did you? Well, here's an idea. Become the story, sort of storied person I can brag about having met, and I'll consider us square. Bye! May the matron take her to her bosom that she may never want. And in her heart, so serenity, purity, and sanctity.
Yeah, you there. Yes, you. Your face is not known to me. Newly come to the city, no doubt. Excuse me. I am Brennett, the a wood whaler of Gridania. A oh, Brett Bertinat. I I fucking hate some of the names in this game. It is my duty to protect our nation from the enemy, her enemies, while welcoming those who may yet to prove her friends. Let's see what you are. Welcome to Gridania, a vibrant port, uh, forest nation created in the bosom of nature. Please select a control scheme you wish to use. We are using a controller. I already know how to do this. Follow the instructions to move, uh, to move your character and adjust the position of your camera. I can do this to move it around. Um, when you're ready, speak to Brent, uh, Bert and Uh, no, we are not opening the lodestone. Anyway, hi! Initiate- that's tutorial shit, I do not need that. I'm sorry, anytime the screen question mark comes up, I'm probably going to delete it because I've played this game a bunch. Uh, to be recognized- coming to Gridania, to be recognized as an adventure in the city state of Gridania, you must first register yourself with the adventure skills. Uh, another great adventurer, I presume. I thought as much. We cannot allow strangers to wander Gridania unchecked and untested. Uh, before you rush off and begin pestering every citizen, second citizen for work, I suggest you make yourself known at the Car Line Canopy. That is the headquarter of the local Adventurers Guild, in case you were wondering. The Car Line Cam uh, Canopy is the building behind me. Speak to Mother Minone within, and she will take you in hand. Yeah, that's why Olympia's name is French. Uh, anyway, I can press uh, my uh, trigger button to pull out my fucking lance. Yeah, look at me. Uh, so let's go in here. This is the inn. Mother Minoe. Yes, I know how to collect NPC rewards. Hello. Well, well, what have we here? Wide-eyed and uh, a wide-eyed, wondering young adventurer. Come to put your name down at the guild, I assume. Welcome, Minoue is my name, or Mother Minoue is most call me. In the Carline Canopy is my place. As the head adventure of the Adventures Guild in Cordania, I have the honor of providing gu uh, guidance to the fledgling heroes who pass through our gate. No matter your ambitions, the guild is here to help you attain them. Uh, in return, we uh, we expect you to fulfill your duties as an adventurer by assisting the people of Gridania. A fine deal, won't you agree? Uh, a couple days ago, because I was uh, fucking around on Soyo and uh, um, Aradin. To an outsider's eyes, but they both started in different nations, so... We'll get to those places and we will meet my favorite uh, of the Adventurers Guild leaders in due time. To an outsider's eyes, they all may seem well, uh, well within our nation, but not could be further from the truth. People, The people live in a state of constant apprehension. The Ixal and various gang of con and bandits uh, provide an unending supply of trouble and trouble compounded by the ever-present threat of the Garlean Empire to the north. And that's to say nothing of the calamity. Uh, no, you get- okay, so let me explain. You get sent to different starting towns depending on what job class you picked. Um, Gradania is conjurer, which are healers, archers, and lancers. If you are a pugilist, which is a hand combat, thaumaturge, which is a ranged magic DPS, or a gladiator, 
which is Sword and Shield, you start in another city-state. And if you are an Arcanist or a Marauder, you get set to the other one. Because there's another starting class which you can't start as them. You have to get to level 5 first. Uh, but no, de you, where you start does never depends on your race. Even now, the uh, the wounds have barely begun to heal. Ah, but I speak as if you were there. Forgive me. Five years past, Eorzea was laid, uh, well nigh laid to waste when the dread worm emerged from uh, emerged from within the lesser moon Dalmud and rained fire upon the the realm. It is in, it is this which people call the calamity. Uh, scarcely a square mom of the twelve would was spared the devastation. Yet despite the forest's extensive wounds, a soul, a soul among us can recall how precisely it ha how it all happened. I am well aware of how inoperable, improperable that must sound to an outsider. It is improbable. But it is also true. For reasons we can ill explain, the facts surrounding the calamity are shrouded in mystery. There are many versions of the event as there are, many, uh, there are people willing to recount them. Yet amazed the ha uh, hazy recollections and conflicting accounts all agree on one thing. That Aeorzi was saved from certain doom by a band of valiant adventurers. Whatever else we've misremembered, none of us have forgotten the heroes who risked their life and limb to s uh, for the sake of the realm. And yet when whatever we try to say the their names, their words l die upon our lips. And whenever we try to call their faces to mind, we see naught but silhouettes amidst a bonny glare. Thus we have these adventures thus these adventures have known to be called have come to be known as the Warriors of Light. Ahem, pray do not feel daunted by the deeds of legends. We do not ask that you become another warrior of light, heh. Uh, only that you do what you can to assist the people of Cretania. Great or small, every contribution counts, and I play I trust you will play your part. All that's left then is to conclude the business of registration. Here's a quill. Scroll your name right there. I will hydrate. Thank you. Yeah, get her. I explained it was uh it was a uh, job, not a uh, job class, not race. Oh, and I'd appreciate if you use your real name. There's a special place in the seventh hell for those who use amusing aliases. <laughs> Getter knows why I'm making that noise based on where I'm at uh, with Olympi, uh, with uh, Oberon. Olympi Bellamare, hmm? and you're quite sure that isn't an amusing alias? Very well then, from this moment you are a registered adventurer of Gridania, nation blessed of the elemental and the bounty of the Twelveswood. The guild expects great things for you. Uh, look what just arrived, another god's damned adventurer. Don't you start with that. Adventurers are the very solve that Gridania needs. The Elder Seed Seer herself uh, has bade us, uh, bade us welcome them with open arms. Do you mean to disagree, disregard her will? Of course not, lest you forget it's my sworn duty to uphold peace. Am I to blame if outsiders bring mistrust upon themselves? Ah, I love racism. Or xenophobia. You, adventurer, mind that you do not cause any trouble here or I shall personally cast you out of this realm and into seventh hell. Fuck. Ahem, pay mind uh pay that outburst no mind. He only means to counsel you. Suspicious characters have been prowling the twelves wood as of late, you see, and the wood villers feel they cannot afford to take any chances. As often with folks who live in isolation, Gradonians are are want to mistrust things they do not know well, yourself your good self included. Fear not, however, given the catalogue of exemplary deeds and more than uh and no more than a handful of the years, the locals will surely warn to you. On behalf of my fellow citizens, I welcome you to Gridania. May you come to consider our nation as your own in time. Get her? I'm biting my tongue because you know her backstory. Now then, you may depend on old, uh, old mother Minoe to teach you a few things that every adventurer should know. 
Uh, I mentioned that Einswald is Oberon's mom, but you are more than happy to go on and chat and talk about, uh, chat, chat about, uh, Einswald, and I will read it out loud. Uh, you've made, uh, you've taken the first step as an adventure in the city of Cadania. Listen well to the wisdom of Mother Minoe, then go forth and discover the incredible adventure that awaits you. Uh, yay, I'm level three. So anytime somebody has this, like, flaming meteor with an exclamation point, that is a main story quest. Uh, close to home. Let us begin at the, uh, at the beginning, shall we? Now that you are a formal member of the Adventurers Guild, we must make sure you have a firm grasp on the fundamentals of adventuring. To that end, I have three tasks that I wish you to perform. Okie dokie. First task is to visit the Aetherite. It's a massive crystal that stands in the middle of the Aetherite Plaza, not far from the car line canopy. As the device enables instantaneous transportation, the Aetherite plays a key role in life of the ever-wandering adventurer. Once you have located the crystal, you'll need to touch its surface. A member of the woods whalers will be present to offer you further instruction. Second task, you're to visit the Lancers Guild. There's no better uh, place to learn the art of the pole arm. Speak with Jillian and she will explain the benefits of joining the guild. Third and final task, I would have you visit the markets at the heart of, the, at the heart of Old Gridania's commercial district. There you should find weapons and armors and various items that an adventurer might need on her travels. Uh, there is, however, more to the markets than spying and selling goods. Speak with Parsa Minora and listen to his counsel. The master merchant can be uncooperative at times, so be sure to offer him one of my delicious eel pies. Like so many men, he is much more charitable when his stomach is full. Here, I made a batch not not long ago. Uh, if you have other you have other tasks, you have your tasks, Olympi. May Norfka guide your path. Uh, sure, no problem, Mander. Yeah, I'm going to be streaming this till about 5. Uh, and one more thing. Should you happen to come across any citizens in need, don't be afraid to offer a helping, proffer a helping hand. I am certainly, I'm certain they will be pleased to meet an adventurer in whom they can combine their worlds. Granted, the work they offer is unlikely to be of realm-shattering important, but prove your worth and build a reputation, and in time, folks will be more inclined to trust you with matters of the moment. I also suggest you lend an ear to the smith here in the canopy. The smiths are pro trusted representatives of the Adventures Guild and an invaluable source of advice for neophyte here at seeking to attain greatness. I now present getting to walk into chaos we call an Aetherite Plaza. Uh, I don't need this. Fuck. All right, who's ready for some chaos? Uh, welcome to the Etherite Plaza. This is a main city state, so a lot of people will be here at all times. Uh, here's a Viera. Ah, there he is. You attuned to the Etherite. Uh, Nasia. Greetings, adventurer. I see you're faithfully following Mother Minoe's instructions. Allow me to offer you a bit of instruction myself. I am Nika of the Woods Whalers, and I know a two or thing or two about aetherites. Yes, that big crystal right there. Aetherites are devices that tap into ethereal energy and are primarily used as a means to travel swiftly uh, from one place to another. Oh, yeah! We're gonna go over to him in a minute. Um... Return and teleport are the most common transportation spells. Make direct use of etherites in connection to the flow of ether. And these devices are found in almost every corner of Eorzea, and any adventurer uh, worthy of the name will seek one out to attune herself to each one. Truly, few things in this world are so useful to intrepid, ex 
Uh, intrepid explorer. God damn it, Bickle. But you need not locate them all at once. Before rushing out into the wilds, I suggest you start with the aetherites found here in Gridania. Should you learn to wish more about aetherite or transportation magic, I am here to answer your questions. Yep, we're gonna be running around this place and finding all of the aetherites. Uh, so I can use the aethernet. Which means that I can transport myself around the city faster. Anyway, welcome to, uh, welcome to hell. As you see, there are cures, elizins, roganins, alras. Uh, that's a minion. But we're here to see this, man. Meet the weeaboo police. They just show up at, like, every fucking Aetherite plaza that's a big city-state and just stand there. Um, yeah, the weeaboo police. This is them. I'm going to get out of this. I'm just gonna hide that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you can see all different types of people come over here just to chill. Uh, you can see a lot of different armor and shit. Like, this fucking guy. Uh, you can hit examine and it'll tell you what they have on. Um, this guy's a paladin. And he's at the end game. And you can see their name, their main server, and what, uh, stuff. But this guy looks fucking baller. But we're not here for him. Uh, we're here to attune myself to the Aetherites. Balto Vitalto. Uh, I also like picking out funny names from people every so often. Um, we we find a lot of really good ones running around. I think I found somebody like named Size Matters Not. Um, fe uh, Felony Feline was a good one from last night that I think I saw. Uh, cool. Now we can uh, fast transport in the colony in the city state to different things. I'm going around to go get all of them because it is so much easier getting around uh, when you do. Uh, so we're gonna go back in here to Old Gridania. Uh, is this... Okay, so this is the marketplace. So... This guy's got, like, cloud strife hair going on. Um. Here you are. There we go. Parson- Parson Monatret. By what right does a fledgling adventurer do a suit presume to address Parson met by Master of the Markets? You think you can stroll in here bold as you please and demand my hard-earned knowledge? Ha! A merchant does not for naught, especially when dealing with would-be heroes. If, on the other hand, you had some tasty morsel to curry my favor, then I might consider your request. Uh, come now. This whole encounter reeks of Minoe's handiwork, and more specifically, her baking. Do not look surprised, lass. I smell the eel pies, uh, of yours mom's away. Hand it over. Okay, jerk. Yeah, the near stuff is, like, not even uh, close to this. Mmm, that facey crust, just divine. Very well, I am a man of my word. Pay close attention, for I shall only explain this once. The aspiring adventurer needs to know, uh, look no further than the rosewood and ebony stalls. They are but a, stro a short stroll from where we stand. If you mean to new battle, you best be, protect, uh, be prepared with a quality set of weapons and armor. Such are the goods of the Rosewood stalls directly south of here. You will be pleased to learn that merchants of Gridania are exceedingly particular when it comes to craftsmanship, so you don't need to fear defective straps and the like. Uh, if it's potions and paraphernalia, you see Ken North of the Ebony stalls. The shelves are lavish and stocked widely by Uldan merchants, and I shall uh, say that they've seen things among their myriad of words I scarce knew existed. Do you follow me thus far? The first step in the purchase is to select the stall that meets your needs. Then you may consider yourself a price and profit. There are a little more I can teach you with the mere word. Go pursue the stalls and see for yourself what wares they offer. There's no substitute for first-hand experience after all, and I am weary of talking unless you have another yield buy. Anyway, so we're going to ignore his ass. Because a lot of job quests will just give you the shit that you need. Also be, we're broke as fuck. 
Um, oh, she's so cute. Nanaro, Nanaro. Uh, da, 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 da. Here we go. You have now access to the Leather Workers Guild in the Shaded Bower. Also be hello for your looking experience. This Aura with very little on. Uh. Let's see what else I can do. Okay, I can't do that yet. Okay, the amphitheater is really important that I can see it too. I forgot the Halloween events going on! I was very confused for a second! Solomon Grundy goes to, uh... Solomon Grundy goes to Eorzea. Alright, I'm gonna read this while I talk to the delivery moogle. Hello! Uh, sorry, I'm not reading this because it's basically, um, this is buying stuff. <laughs> I'm not using that for a while. Is there like a take all button? Um, sorry, I'm just grabbing a bunch of shit out of my, this thing, so I remember to do it now. Uh, this is just clothes and stuff. You can use real money to buy clothing in this game. I have a bunch. Um, but for Limpy, uh, for the most part, we're probably gonna stick to just stuff I can get in game. Um, let me read Getter's thing really quick, cause holy fuck. Um, Get her, uh... I can put them in a company box for the most part, but if stuff you buy off the Mog Station, no, it, it slots to that character. But yeah, if you want to read Getter's, uh, Getter's Einswell's backstory, uh, you can. I will also have, it'll also, I will probably also have him Give it to me and I'll post it in my server. Also, look at another Hogthar. Um. <laughs> Kyan and Spud! <laughs> look at him! He's like a little Jonah! He's like a little Josuke! Look at him! It's Potato Josuke! You have clothes I want for another character. Um. I'm not talking shit about his hair. I'm laughing because it's adorable. Uh, I think you are... Nope, you're the way out. Um. I do need to come down here, though, because this... It's an right point that is very important to the plot. Um, so this is the guild I started out with Oberon in. Um, Oberon by trade is a uh, is a white mage. Uh, he's also his main classes are white mage, sage, and dancer. Uh, but yeah, if you come in here, I'll have to come in here one day again for some stuff. Um, I might make Olympia Condor as well just to get something out of it. But yeah, let's go this way. That's New Gridania. Fuck. I get lost a lot. So I apologize if I'm just running around like a dumbass. You're an exit gate. Yes, there's a map. Maps are for bitches. Um, go back to the yeah. Okay, 
I gotta go over to the botanist guild, I forgot. Yeah, anybody with a yellow exclamation part is a side quest. But for right now, we're we're not going to do that just because there's a lot going on. Also, I'll preface this right now that the music in this game is fucking amazing. Um, there is like not a really bad track in it. Um, I will point out when a lot of my favorite stuff comes up. Uh, the song that we that played when we watched the intro movie Answers, amazing. Um, okay, you're all. Yeah, uh, Getter has had to literally, we call it Uber, uh, is when him or other members of our group have to just come get me, uh, and take me somewhere. Um, so you might hear me reference their names, um, sometimes. Also, I want to talk to somebody. Hello? Oh, nope, you're not the person who I thought it was. Are you over here right now yet? Yes, you are. Hello, Yumitra. My name is Jamitra. I'm affiliated with the Sons of St. Connac, a research organization comprised of Charlian scholars and Aeogian sages. I suppose you might say our focus is on ancient history. My colleagues and I seek to uh, piece together the lost knowledge and technology of the long buried, long buried Allegan Empire. Due to a number of fascinating finds, it is in the ruins of Mordona that are presumably uh, presently the command of the bulk of our attention. I am here, however, to conduct some preliminary research. The tales my sister wove of the wide realm of Eorzea will first encourage me to visit. But beyond that initial curiosity, there is much this land of interest has to an avid scholar. Uh, I wanted to talk to her because uh, she gives a lot of uh, hints about things. She is also important to one of the job quests that we might do later. Um, aha, Lancer's Guild, right? This one. And then I think we'll have done all the Aetherites. Nope. Fine. What's the other way? Long, very Allen. Lance, Lance, boat. Okay, Pickle, take your time. This should be the last Aetherite I think I have to get to. The last Aetherite. Have I attuned all the ones in- You've attuned yourself to all the Aethernet shards in Gridania, the Blue Badger Gate, the Yellow Serpent Gate, and the Airship Landing are now accessible. Cool, now I can just jump around the city and not feel weird. Anyway, hello, it's time for me to learn how to stab things. Welcome to the Lancers Guild. I see you brought your own spear. If you seek to respond to your souls with a pole arm, then you've come to the right place. Here at the Lancer Guild, spear wielders uh, gate gather to train together one another to and further hone their abilities under the tutelage of our fine instructors. More than just an instant reward, the spear is a good tool for hunting and with game in the ever plentiful twelve wood. The weapon has been the mainstay of the locals here since the founding of before the founding of Gardania. With the passing of time, our nation became a gathering place for supermasters across the well. Many eager to test their mettle against the famed might of our wood whalers. And it was here in Gridania that the myriad of fighting styles came into contact, eventually giving rise to the art taught here today. The spear technique can be formalized all on its own with the founding of the Lancers uh, Guild by wood whaler capital uh, Bistale Nye on a century past. The tradition of accepting students from uh, without as well as within Gridania's border persists to this day, ensuring that the art of the polearm may not only survive but continue to evolve. 
Well, there you have it. I hope a brief history of the guilds uh, of the guild has helped settle your doubt any doubts in your mind. The Lynch's Guild has always worked uh, year to worth with new initiates. If you're willing to insist, speak with me again. We can begin the enrollment procedures. Well then, have you made up your mind to enlist in the Ganser's Guild? Of course. Excellent. I shall let Guildmaster Wayne know to expect you. All who seek admittance in her rank must present themselves before him. He will judge if you are worthy, if you are fit to become one of us. Pray make your way to the training area within. Our guildmaster awaits you there. Okie okay, dokie, okay. where are you hiding? There you are, my guy. You're Wayne. Well met, adventurer. I understand you wish to learn the Lancer's art under our roof. Though you've uh, doubtlessly brandished a spear before this day, and perhaps even an earnest, you still have a long way to go before you may call yourself a Lancer in sooth. Uh, in my capacity as guildmaster, I shall guide you on your training, beginning with the very basics, the principles of our art. There exists a myriad of fighting styles, each with our own unique abilities. None, however, can claim to be as offensively minded as ours. Our approach is ever, is ever one of attack, no matter who or what we face. An experienced lancer is able to wield a pole arm as if it were an extension of his body. He transforms into a raging storm before his foes, delivering a barrage of devastating thrusts and slashes. To facilitate such a relentless assault, we lancers forgo plate in favor uh, forgo plate instead of favoring armor with leather and chain, as such materials provide adequate protection without unhindering, unduly hindering our hindering movement. A lancer's worth may be measured uh, quite simply in how swiftly and decisively he can pierce his enemy's defenses. Uh, by nature, its pole arm is a simple weapon to wield for good or for ill, and even as farmer's hands, even as farmer's hand is capable of weaking of wrecking a considerable havoc. Thus, it has been a mainstay of every great army since ancient times. Yeah, he is tall. He is small. We are tall. Uh, yet know that the Lancelot, uh, Lancelot does not a Lancer make. Faced with un unfavorable odds, an unseasoned spearman will break formation and flee without a moment's hesitation. A true Lancer, however, flinches not before his enemies, for he knows not the meaning of fear, Ever does he press forward, disdainful of the odds he might pierce an enemy's open line path to victory. Needless to say, doing so requires no small amount of courage, and that is why our guild has striven to uh, first instill this essential quality in every soul who passes through our walls. Uh, in arduous, ta uh, arduous trials await you should you join our ranks. Knowing this, have you uh, the resolve to wield the lance? Fuck yeah, we do. This is sh ain't this ain't shit. Well, son of Ventura, I see no reason to deny your place within our ranks. Uh, but, uh, but I neglected to introduce myself. I am Ewain, master of the guild. Pleasantly exchange, uh, pleasantry duties exchange. I hereby assign you your first task, the trial to be precise. In order to develop an affinity with your weapon, engage such things as distance. You are to go forth and brandish your spear with reckless abandon. Go murder a bunch of animals. The squirrels, ladybugs, and the fungar that roam just outside the city should provide you with a suitable challenge. Put down, let's say, three of each and then report back to me. So go out in the woods and murder shit. Now that Andrew has made me hyper aware to the leather noises, I can't unhear them. Um. <clears throat> yeah, that is, yeah, yeah. Happy because tall, triumphant over small, I'll dom them all. Oh wait, that's Einsfeld, not Olympi. Yeah, Olympi, no, though Olympi is the dom between her and Oberon though, so. Back to the Oh shit, a bard's out. So bard is one of the things you can do and you can get a musical instrument to play. I'm trying to find where the bard is. Um, one time I came out here and somebody was playing someone that I used to know by Gautier. Uh, one of the one of the Bard Guild items is in fact a Gibson electric guitar. No, I am not kidding. Also, this girl is in her undies. The conquering hero returns. Have you completed my little tasks? I trust. There are three locations you visit. Feature uh, will feature 
will feature prominently in your life as an adventurer. It's best you grow familiar with them as soon as possible. And it took you time to listen to the worlds of the citizenry. I cannot empathize uh, how important it is to lend your talents to one and all, no matter how trivial they may seem. We did not a single fucking side quest. I am thankful that you are an obliging, are an obliging of sort, Olympi. It's adventurers like you who, uh, who win the hearts of the locals and pave ways for those who follow. I pray Gordania can rely on your aid in struggles to come. Quest complete. Uh, Mela- Okay, that's just comboing. Hello. Welcome to the Caroline Canopy, a place for respect for adventures like yourself. As you might imagine, the Twelves have scarcely begun to recover from the devastation wrought by the Calamity. And Gridania wants all the help we can get, so I hope we can count on yours. Though I will not deny there are among those among us who view outsiders with position. If you play your part, they will come to see that adventure is the very salve our nation sorely needs. I'm trying to talk to you for the quest. Olympia, have you been visited the Bangkok on your wanderings? It's a training ground uh, just outside the city where soldiers of the Order of the Twin Hour are drilled in swordplay and other martial matters. I mention it because of an acquaintance of mine, a gentleman by the name of Galfred, is an instructor there, and you might I think you might be of use to him. Go and introduce yourself, and you find if there's anything that you can do to help. Mind you, do not stray far from the path. The Twelve Swords is no place for merry strolls to the underbrush. So we have our first thing to do. We have to go to the Bannock. Uh, we'll do all these quests later if we want to. There's a lot. There are some that are like really important that we do. Uh, mostly one that's gonna open up a cool dungeon that I might run one night if we get if I get three other people from my call group to do it. Uh, I already know how to battle. All right, so we're. We are now in the shroud. So you see everything with a little uh, thing on top of it? It's time for us to murder it without any recompense. Goodbye. It's slob- it's slobbering time. Doakley. Don't care, don't care. Goodbye, bitch. That's the squirrel's gun. There goes the little ladybug. Get oh. the doctor trying to free those crabs. What? Gentlemen, behold! Con! Gentlemen, behold! Spear! Mm. Murdering the forest, fungoids! Get up here! Nope. Okay. Fine. Smack! Mm. Smack! Cool! Now I can go other thing. I can go back to the guild and do some shit, but I'm going to first get to the band crop because I want to set up a point of things. It's over here. Good job, Megan. Whee. Hello, Garfield. Greetings, Olympi Bellamare. Minoe sent word to expect you. My name is Garfield, and I am respons uh, responsible for training your twin adder recruits. I thank you for volunteering your assistance. The Twelve Wood is much changed since the calamitous arrival of the Seventh Umbral Era five years ago. The power of the elemental wanes, and the harmony of the forest gives way to chaos. A great abundance of life has been lost as the strong, rampant stifling of the weak spread anew. Uh, they may not yeah, though it may not appear so to the eyes of outsiders, the twelve wood is ailing. It's once rich variety fa a fading memory. For the citizens of Gridania, the restoration of the forest is a sacred duty, and it is my hope that adventurers such as your, you will offer aid to them in their struggle. 
Listen to the request and do all that you can. My, may the elemental splash your endeavors, Olympi Bellinare. Cool. We are going to take the thigh boots because they are better. Um, Chief, uh, Garful, the chief instructor of the Bancock, which is to invent you. I know. It's not the ban. It's the Bannock. I keep saying Bancock. Um, I see you're eager to lend a hand, Olympi. That's well, but I cannot in good conscience send you in the forest until I've established that your equipment is equal to the task. It bears repeating that and since the five years since the dawn of the seventh umbral era, many of the twelve lewd creature has formed into vicious, bloodthirsty monsters, venturing into the forest without proper gear to tear them out to suicide. I suggest you take your time to evaluate your equipment. Once you deem your armor to be sufficient quality, present yourself for me for inspection. Uh, I need to get everything above level five as gear. So, character recommended. No, I don't want to wear the bandana. Hold on. Ah! Uh, I think I got boots recently. Yep, yeah, altered thigh boots. So, we're gonna have to go get ourselves some spiffy new equipment. This is not the fucking Aetherite Plaza. Where the hell did it go? I see the fucking Aetherite. That's why. Hello, Aetherite. Cross the river, jumpy jump. No. Bonk. Bonk. Ah! As you can see, I forget where you can jump up on things. Ah! I did it. Ah! Let's go up here. Hello. Anytime you see an Aetherite, you will go to the Aetherite and touch the Aetherite so that you can teleport. There we go. Now I can teleport. But over here... Somebody just got on a mount. Is there a chocobo porter over here? Nope. I thought there was a porter. Anyway, we're going back to Gridania already. two types of people who name themselves on here. People who name themselves like lore specific things or like lore canon things and shit posters. Um, and or number three, people who just want to name it Rosies. Anyway, back to the guild. Uh, okay, so I murdered the little animals you wanted me to kill. Hello. So you're back. I trust you've learned something of the essence of our art. A lancer wants best when he's doing each thrust making him stronger. Such things as strategy and technique will come in time and never forget courage. Without it, you cannot hope to realize your potential. Your look betrays hints of, uh, betrays no hint of doubt. I would have to take you to take this hunting log. It bears the names of creature against the lancer might hone his skills. Uh, there, to be sure there's no way, single way to ask for art. The logs, uh, basically use the log to murder shit. Um, anyway, I'm level five. Hello. Spear of the Fearless. Um, Guildmaster wants to teach you courage. I take you return. Uh, oh, you return. I take from your prince who gained a measure of familiarity with your weapon. You are now good. You are now ready to begin the next phase of painting. Uh, you will now recall uh, me telling you that it takes no small amount of courage to be a lancer. Now, in general terms, courage is the strength to do something which one finds unnerving. However, a lancer's notion of courage is not so simple. Having first drawn a distinction between courage and recklessness. He then dives into the former into two aspects. I would have you learn each with spear in hand. The first is composure. Uh, when outnumbered in battle, battle, the Lancer may lose his composure and succumb to panic. Should that happen, all of his training will swiftly flee in his mind and he will struggle to overcome his opponents, whom he would ordinarily have bested with ease. He will, in short, contribute to his own defeat. If you wish to become a Lancer in sooth, you must uh, learn to maintain your composure at all time. Do this and you will call upon every ounce of your strength. Ounce? That's not how you spell out, you fucking weird British people. Of your strengths and skills uh, when it matters most. 
But so your first task. The riverbanks of the central side should be known uh, home to Velkin, known as Yarons, fiercely territorial creatures who attack anyone that strays too close, making them the bane of fisher folks. Uh, they typically fall upon their prey in mass, barring uh, all avenues of escape before closing in for the kill. Um. Pumpkin tiny. Uh, what we must go through your mind is, uh, in the mind of her victim in an instant. Panic, despair, be sure to tell me upon your return. Needless to say, I would have you brave such an encounter. Take this sack of decidedly noisome bait and use it to lure the ever ragerous creatures out of their nests. Uh, it may be only curious yards on the peels, but what if two or three fellows follow scent? Let's see how you fare then! Now go on, my young lancer, and learn what it means to fight with composure! <laughs> okay! Just, just, I guess I'm gonna go fucking die. Um, where does it want me to go? Oh god, it wants me to go all the way out here. Fuck. Well, there goes half my money. Um. It's time to go get my ass heard. Uh, I can obviously grind levels at this le early, so I might burn some shit on my way. But, uh... Are you ready for some football? Whee! Ow. Bonk. Bonk. Doo -doo. Cool things I need to murder for my hunting log anyway. We are not doing the fate. Ignoring that. Fates are just things on the map. Hi, I'm attacking. Fates are a thing on the map that basically are like, um, hey, if you join in and kill these things for like X amount of time, you'll get experience and some shit later on. But I currently have no use for doing them. Like I said, we're just murdering things for experience so I don't die. This is so I don't get my ass beat. Do da, do da. No! What? Oh. You're fine, we'll do the thing. God damn it. Uh, the black F should be fine to kill, so. Uh, how many black F? <laughs> Giant salamander murder time. Giant salamander murder time. Giant salamander murder time. Yeah, we will be going around and killing things and you will all fucking like it. You just get to listen to the dulcet tones of me singing about murdering small forest figures. Like, I will say this, like, ARR is not as bad as I think people made it out to be, but I also understand that it's not as bad as it used to be uh, from the guys who played it like a lot more than I have back when it was like not as pat. Oh cool, I learned fucking second win. That's what I wanted. Cool, second win's a heal so it's kind of important that I have it. Uh, so let's let's go uh, beat up some thingies that my boss thinks it's fine for like my level 8 ass to be. Oh god, I forgot it's these things. Okay, they were only level 5. I don't know why I was freaking out. I thought they were low, lower level. Or higher level. Oh 
I really, honestly, like, as much as I'm going to be, like, beating a monster this fun, there's only one type of monster I hate to fight. And, uh, you'll see why. I have, uh, we call it my Konosuba Syndrome. Uh, I guess I got Oh, ground squirrels, my thing. Okay, you're not in this shroud, you're not in this shroud. Oh no, this is the North Shroud. Um. Oh, okay, I know how to do this all. This is not too bad. Um. Yeah, there are things that are also, like, horrifying, like the fucking Cheeto Gaze. Uh, Cheeto Gaze. Let's get back to where I was. Uh, you know what? It wouldn't hurt to kill some of these, so... Mm. Let's murder some. Um, mm. Chicken. Oh, look at their blue chicken. It's so very nice. Bye, blue chicken. Get off my lawn! Squirrel murder! Pig! Hi, Kevin! Oh, nice! Also, fun fact about this game, you can fish anywhere! Sorry, I'm not reading this. I'm I'm like very tired of reading all the dialogue. be very poor because we have to pay all of our money for teleporting until I get a mount because I fucking hate walking. You walk so slow. Uh-oh. Time to Mario jump again. Wee. Wee. 
You can fish in lava, which is the funniest thing to me. Hello, creepy salamanders. Goodbye, creepy salamanders. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I hate these fucking things, I hate these fucking things, I hate these fucking things, I hate these fucking things. I fucking hate the giant frogs. I hate them so much. I, no, murder the fucking thing. That's a kind of super moment. That's what I meant. I hate the frog enemies in this game. They terrify me and make me angry. You will see why they make me angry later. I missed it. Her name was Dark Fucking Brittany. I've been expecting you by your return. I trust you understand the importance of resolve. Like one's fresh courage can be made strong. It's a matter of teaching each of its aspects. Now the endeavor may prove difficult in the beginning. God knows how much I struggled, and you may suffer untold humiliation and more frustration than you can bear. We'll get to that. Uh, but you must persevere. Uh, whenever you engage an opponent, whether in training in earnest, uh, uh. Hold on. Anybody wondering what the sexy rabbit people look like? There's a sexy rabbit person. Uh, over time, doing so, oh, with Second Nation, you acquire such courage as you, though you never could be yours. Mind you, not all battles entail a physical clash of might, but it could simply be a disagreement born of conflict and ideology. The point is, uh, the point is, it matters not the battle for you to stand upon, so long as you take care to be compromised and resolute, your courage will grow. Did that make sense? Even a little. I fear I cannot hold the candle to Guild Master Ewain. But there's all I can do to assist in your training. Oh, is it something afoot in the training area? Get her, I have too many alts. You call yourselves Lancers Pathetic. If you are next, Guild Master, arm yourself and face me. Refuse, and I shall know that you are no true Lancer. 
Say what you will, I am above provocation. Hmm. Craven to the last man. Ha, ah, but what have we here? Pickle no, I'll be tempted! Wait, she is but a novice. That makes no odds to me. You admitted her to your ranks, did you not? Very well, I shall withdraw for now. Yet only the fearless are fit to wear the mantle of Lancer. I look forward to measuring your own worth in days to come in the days to come. There is not more to see. Return to your drills. Olympia, you made no attempt to evade his thrust. Did your opponent so nervy as to deprive you of your senses? Well, it is of little consequence now. You need to pay no further heed to our uninvited guests, lest you wonder is it uncommon it is not uncommon for challengers to come pounding on their door seeking to test uh, their mettle. For now, dedicate yourself to tempering the two aspects of courage, the composer to bring the sum of your strength and the seal to better against your foes, and the resolve to attack when fear would stray your hand, as befits a lancer. But next we meet, I shall have another trial for you, one that will put your courage to the test. Until then, continue to apply yourself to your training. Farewell, Olympi. Uh, we are going to take the custom-made scale mail, because we need it. Uh, we have to get to level 10. So, let's put this on. Ooh, that looks kind of good on this. Um, and then we need our new lance. The bone harpoon. Nice. Oh, it makes a clinky noise. Sweet. Um. He is attracted! I find most guy Ellisons attractive. Uh. Oakley dokley, we're gonna go kill some squirrels. Um. Like, I hate to be that person. I have a really big thing for mostly elves and dudes in this game. Like, wait till we get to- Okay, I will- I will preference this now. When we get to the next ge the- the next expansion, uh, I'm going to be very, very horny for a lot of characters. This game it has very attractive characters. I can't wait. I. What the fuck is triggered onto me to murder me? What the hell? Where the hell is it? Oh, it's just something. Um, I can go back that way, or I can come out this way and do my hunting log. So what we might do. Um, is there our quest up here? Do you all have quests for me? Yes. Quests for me? Yes. Bowed wine. Slay mightlings. Okay. And what do you want? Speak with Jillian. Where is Jillian? She's 
is up in here. These burlap sacks. Doodly doodly do, running around doing quests because I need to because we're poor. <laughs> and I forgot that I take fall damage. Now I know leg sweep so I can stun shit. Fucking thank you. going back to Gridan yet. Um, porters are great because they're cheap and let me go back. The things. Also, oh my god! She's so cute. Potatoes. Time to go ride chicken. Please take me back to Gridania. Here I go, riding a chicken. Doodly doodly doo, chocobo riding. Back to Verdania. 
Don't worry, we'll eventually get our own chicken that we can nickname just horrible things. And we're back. By the way, I will be letting you guys name my chicken. Um, Olympia's chicken will be named by you guys because we can name that. We can name, uh, we can name Chocobos. Oh, she's Wednesday Adams. That's super cute. Um, back to the guild. Bonk. Boing. Hey, I killed all the squirrels for you, sir. You give me pants. Ah, oh, but you better order. I need the legs though. I need the legs though. Olympi, uh. I swear you've gained an ill in the last time you were around since this book. I have seen you play that idol. Definition of courage. a stone of courage from the naked one. Defend French Meadows! Pickle, I don't even know if that's gonna fit in the character count. is we all like technically Olympia's chicken chocobo of choice would not be the one that you get in this area it's a secret for later it's a surprise tool that will come up later I need to murder you. Dinosaurs, yes, do exist in more ways than one, Andrew, and you'll see why later. Um. Fine, fuck off, shits.
Congratulations, you have obtained a stone, a false stone of courage. You heard me right. False. What does that say about your courage, I wonder? Well, where are my manners? My name is Floracle, as we had a president meeting at the Lancers Guild, as you recall. On that occasion, I turned my weapon upon you and betrayed not a hint of fear. It was in that instance I sensed you were unlike the other that you had promised. And not to present in its current state the trial you were engaged in, if a trial it may be called, makes a mockery of the Lancer art. Needless to say, this cannot be tolerated. So I have taken the liberty of moving the Stone of Courage to a more suitable location. It now resides in the depths of the spirit hold under the guards of Fell Fiend. A far more fitting challenge, as I assume you'll, uh, as I, as I am sure you will agree. Whether or not make an uh, attempt to retrieve the stone is for you to decide. If you fear your safety, I suggest you run back to the guild. And the bowman uh, words of frightfulness made uh, to the many a brave soul to call there, Ewain will doubtlessly consider it a supremely courageous act. You know, Lancer may forget true courage only in the midst of great danger. Before true courage only in the midst of great danger. Oh my god, look at this vampire chocobo! Holy shit! Away! I'm debating on playing up to if we can meet two characters. Because I'm pretty sure I can get there pretty fast. Because I'm not, like, I know what I'm doing now. It's getting gear is the problem. And I have no money. As you can see, I have no money and I am very poor. Ooh, pigs! Time to murder them. Give me your experience! Yeah, I'm only good at playing this game because Getter and uh, Pickle and other friends have taught me. Um, I also once learned the hard way not to troll, not to troll people in fights, because uh, we wiped to a pretty big boss because I said something very curt. Okay, pigs, I need. Uh, you want me to go in here? Anything with the red thing above its head will aggro to you. Anything with the blue won't unless you do it first. Uh, which means I have to go murder the simp. Where's the fucking stone? As much as this game's like, oh wow, you're a new baby Lancer and shit. Technically an Olympia story, she's not. Um.
Dragoons are fun characters. I'm not a, I'm not spoiling what their big gimmick is because it makes me laugh. Anyway, back to Master who's probably going to get mad at me. And then after that, I think we should have enough gear to be able to go, um... I don't wanna, I know this plating isn't as good, but I really like it. I like the jingly noise it makes. Um, so if your turn, tell me where you're able to uh, obtain the Stone of Courage. This is indeed the sword, Ra though rather is in worse condition when I last saw it. What happened at the Naked Rock? The Lancer who but recently threatened you moved the stone to the Spirit Hold? Not content with trespass and slander, the brazen fool now meddles with our training. Seven hells, this is not to be born. Listen well, Limpy. Though I no doubt you know better, my duty as a guildmaster compels me to state the obvious. Do not heed that man's words. The Lance's courage can only be forged, and this of great danger is a va uh, vainglorious tripe. As you've already learned, a Lance's courage is the uh, production of composure and resolve. Be under no misapprehension. Watching, uh, watching, watchfully navigating the animal's territory has served to temper your courage, and the man that brin blindly braving the terrors of the spirit hold did not. As you continue your training, pray keep this lesson to trial close to heart. And before you return to adventuring, there's one more thing I would tell you. In recognition of your unwavering efforts in the trial thus far, I hereby grant you leave to join other guilds. Naturally, you must seek permission from the relevant guildmaster before commencing your training. Gridania is home to a great many guilds besides her own, and if you consider combat your calling, archers and conjurers have a strong presence in our nation. Should you crave more peaceful pastime, may um alternatively consider joining the leather workers, the carpenters, and botanists. While it's something to be said uh, for broadening one's horizon, it's also important to maintain one focus. Always bear this in mind. As your guild master, I would prefer you naturally first man to the last Lancer's art, which we are. Rest assured that there will be time enough to take up another discipline when you have done so. Whatever paths or paths you can choose to walk, I would look forward to seeing you and realizing your obvious potential. Uh, you have now access to the armory system. So fun thing about this game is that you are not locked to one class. Um... You can basically go whatever one you want. Oh, this is better, but I want the hat. Um, if you can basically be any class that you want, um, as many as you want at any level that you want, and it is great. You do not have to make another character, and you have a uh, seemingly kind of unending your character slots. But um, I do not have enough money to teleport my ass to that place. Um, uh, so basically, um, you can just be whatever you want uh, at any time you want. And it's actually really good to have at least one of the other types of classes down because there will be certain specific quests. Like, Olympi will be knowing a range DPS, a melee, a tank, and a healer class eventually. Um, I think I think I said, I think we're gonna go for her ranged. I haven't picked. I think it's going to be Archer or Summoner. I don't know what I said to get her. Get her knows what I want to do. Um, oh no, it might be um something locked to Heaven's Word, which is the next expansion. Cool, I have enough gear in my booty shorts. Um, uh, ready for inspection. I think you passed muster. Uh, Bone Harpoon, which I already have, so we're going to take money. Uh, Garfield. Uh, oh, oh cool. Yes, Bloodbath. Uh, Olympi, by your tireless efforts, have, you've proven yourself a friend to Grindani, and I believe you can trust him with sensitive intelligence. I would assign you a mission of considerable important, yet the need for secrecy prevents me from disclosing the details until you pledge yourself to participation. I am authorized. Blah, 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 blah. Good. Time is of the essence, so listen well. Uh, you'll be, uh, now I've heard that suspicious individuals have been seen prowling the Twelves Wood. Uh, and as you may be aware, the Exitali activity has risen sharply in the region of late. What you might not know is that this increase coincides exactly with the first recorded sighting of aforementioned individual. Uh, suspecti suspicions of, uh, suspecting a connection, we tightened our, uh, our surveillance in hopes of tracking this down this unknown visitor. At last, our quarry is proceeding to be ex exceedingly elusive, as if he almost knows our movements ahead of time. 
But where the whole universe fails, alone adventurers may succeed. Acting independently and covertly, you may be able to close in on our quarry unnoticed. Fear and anxiety are beginning to take their toll in the citizens, Sri Olympi. Olympi. For their sakes, I ask that you aid us in this investigation. Uh huh. You have my gratitude with help. I'm hopefully we shed the light on this upon this mystery. Uh, begin your search at the life end stump. All right, so we're gonna go investigate what the fuck's going on in the woods. Uh, I. Aha! It's north of here. See, I'm trying to think if we're going to meet a certain set of characters, and if we meet them in this next thing, then I'm going to cut us off at the end of that. Because that should put us close to... Oh yeah, this is a level 5 quest, but I'm overleveled because I need a gear, and I'm a cheap ass and didn't want to buy it. Um. Oops. Uh, in the words of Shaka Conroy, if there's a secret, it's probably behind a waterfall. The helmet could be dry. Ah, it's up on top of the waterfall. Right. I'm sorry, I like the little ching ching noises of, uh... Fuck, I forgot how to get up there. Ah, I forgot how to get up. Okay, it's over there. Country roads, take me home. To the place I belong. Britannia, forest mama, take me home. I genuinely forgot how to get up here. Shit. Motherfucker. Oh yeah, voice dialogue approaches. That's right. So remember when I said this was an LA dub? The only problem, I cannot get to the voice dialogue if I do not know how to get up the fucking thing. Shit, how do I get up here again? Am I missing a path? that way. I do not genuinely remember how to get up here to this thing. I am not kidding you then that I am stuck. Um... How do I get to the fucking life ends thing? I have to get up to this. And I genuinely forgot how to get there. Good job. Good job, brain. Aha, there it is. Recommend uh here. Oh, 
Magic Blade. Welcome to the first voice cutscene. Uh, you're about to enter an instance battle. Instance battles can only occur during current set and quest mission. Uh, let's do this. I can only be level 9 for it, but whatever. Here we go. I can feel it coming in here tonight. Oh. Look! Someone's already here! Ah, oh, God! Oh god, I forgot about her acting! Oh Jesus! Uh, oh dear. Is that a sword in the stump? Bad idea. Really bad idea. It takes a lot less than that to incite the green wrath, you know? Why, the first time I came to the Twelves Wood, Is we this almost ended dark up as a stranger? Tree just for crashing our airship in the wrong place. No, it was no, all Papalino's sort of not even close. Come Though, on. He'd sooner swallow his staff than admit that he's wrong. Hmm. You know her, Kublo Cop? Oh, hey! It's Kublo Cop! Well, not exactly, but we did once share a carriage. Isn't that right? What do your eyes see, Potato Boy? How are the readings? Same as the last. There is a disturbance here as well. And newly manifested at that. Short thaw for Thaumaturge, what do your elf eyes see? Cop seems convinced of your innocence. But if this isn't your doing, whose is it? I don't know, little potato, but I do not take lightly from short people accusing me of black magic. Ever since the calamity, the forest's been really sensitive. The slightest disruption to the etheric flow. And this sort of thing happens. I'm hoping that Andrew will come back and say something because I told him we're on the acting. Um. I don't give a shit about what the cowboys are doing, phone. Leave me alone. Oh shit, we pissed off the tree from Lord of the Rings! Oh no, the trees! It seems we have little choice. One of my favorite characters in this game. Also, one of them is a 42 year old character, canonically, like in his 40s. Play tank for me, pugilist lady. I'm sorry, Tree Bear, but I'm doing what I have to. 
to voice acting. Andrew, I want you to guess who plays these two without looking at chat. Ooh, shiny rock. And what do we do to shiny objects on the ground that we don't know of and might be dangerous? We pick them up. And trip some balls. Everything you love's on fire. Crystal Bearer. I am Hydaelyn, all made one. A light there once was that shone throughout this realm, yet it has since grown dim. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. Rock. The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. That's a big rock. Ma'am, did you sink the Titanic? By thy deeds shall the crystals reveal themselves to thee. Only believe, for the light liveth in thy heart. no doubt. Hmm. And what have we here? Our culprit, it would seem, an Ixel. And no ordinary Ixel either. A chieftain. That they would venture this deep into enemy territory, the beastmen may indeed be acting under orders. God, I forgot about this, this character's voice. This is Papalimo, 
We found How the are we feeling then? It was an Better? Chieftain. Good. Yes, we'll seek Brother Esumian's cooperation in the matter. Giant yeah. crystals? Oh, loud. Can't say I've Actless. seen any. Much the same as Are always. you sure you're feeling better? Understood. Over and out. Kuplo Cop. Please bear word of these developments to Brother Esumian. We shall soon return to give a full report. Understood. Over and out. I forgot what Papalifa sounded like an AR. Here is where we part ways. Till next time, take care. Goodbye. Goodbye, Potato Man in short shorts. I think that sword might be a clue. You should definitely pull it out and take it back to the Bannock. You don't suppose that adventurer could see Kuplo Cop, do you? And this occurs to you now? She's not smart. Yes, it seemed that way. Time will tell. Well, time will have to, because you won't. You never tell me what's really going on. Unless <gasps> you don't know what's going on either. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? I just forgot what he sounded like. Yeah, like, there are actually a lot of cast members in ARR that I really like and some I prefer to over the British cast. But, uh, those two are not them. Especially the girl with the mask. I, I much prefer her second actress. Um... All right, so we're gonna turn in the sword and then I think we're gonna call it here. Goodbye, person about to do the same thing as I did. I really gotta unlock Glamour on her quickly, which Glamour is uh, making your outfits customized. I like the, the scaly bone armor, it makes me happy. Garfield, I'm back without lasagna. Uh, here we go. Olympia, it's good to see you back. One of our patrols sent words that you had been spotted doing battle with an enraged Trent. Uh, I'm willing to find you no worse for worse in the experience, but what were you able to tell me you were able to discover the life and stump? Take the sword. A sword and a stump, a dead exile. Hmm. I can say without absolute certainty that this blade is of Ixali origin. It's uh, it's of a kind exclusively used for the beastman rituals. The Ixal rarely saw foot in the central shroud, so it's like, uh, blah, 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 something about it coming in. What's that? A dubious couple uh, sporting particular spectacles? Ha ha ha. So you've finally been uh, acquainted with Ida and Papa Limo. Lay your suspicions to rest. Gordania counts them as among some of her staunchest allies. Both are scholars hailing from a distant land and have been with us since before the calamity. Their garb may appear outlandish and their exchange is baffling, but never once have they given us cause to doubt them. Indeed, they often assist the gods Quiver and the Wood Whalers uh, in their work, and so just I hope you will in the days to come, Olympi. Although uh, our visitor eludes us now, owing to your efforts, we have acquired important Ill intelligence on the Ixal threat. Ixali threat. You have my gratitude. We are fortunate indeed to have a capable adventure such as you aiding us. I will pray you continue to serve the people of Garjania in whatever capacity you are able. Alright, so we're going to go into the sanctuary and then we're going to call it for the night. Uh, for the day so because my back hurts and I have some stuff I need to do really quick before uh, I have some stuff I want to do so that isn't this so 
next time I will definitely be starting this up a little earlier but it will be not this weekend but the weekend after because I have a recording I'm doing next Saturday so with that being said thank you guys for watching the first adventure with Olympi today in Final Fantasy 14 I hope you guys are all enjoying this I will see you next time